Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Figma to Python in 2024. So today, we're diving into the world of integrating Figma, which is your favorite design tool with Python, which is a powerful programming language. So stick around as I guide you through the steps to connect Figma to Python in 2024. Let's unlock, of course, the new possibilities for automating workflows and enhancing collaborations between design and development teams. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end, so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section in here and we'll have to go and type figma.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll find yourself on the home screen. Main screen. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll find yourself on a page like this. For me, I'm already logged in. That's why I have this. But for you, you'll find yourself on a page like this. So click in here to log in at your account. If you have one account, if you don't, click on get started for free to create an account or here on get started right here. If you're interested about pricing, here is it. You can post video and read it all by your own. And of course, if you don't know nothing about like uh, uh, Figma or Figma Jam, as you can see, it has like different plans. And even if you don't know nothing about Figma, you can simply scroll down to read more information about this website and simply just have a general idea about it or familiarize yourself with this a bit before even creating an account. Once you logged in at your account or just created your account, you'll find yourself on a dashboard like this in here. So now you're ready to go and open your Python. Simply just go and open, sorry, and open your Python. And, and basically you'll have to go and install the Figma library, a Python wrapper, of course, for the Figma API. You can install it using the pipe or PIP, Python package, of course, manager by running the command pipe install Figma pi in your terminal or command prop, uh, prompt as an example. And of course, to interact, you'll have to generate an access token in Figma. To interact with the Figma API, you will need an access token. You'll have to log in into your account and navigate into the account settings as an example. So go to your account and make sure to access the settings. And on the settings, you'll have to generate a new personal access token and copy the token to use it in your Python scripts as an example. And yeah, you can, of course, as we said, just use this pipe install op option to install it. So pipe, as an example, install Figma Pi. And or basically, you'll have, of course, this is not, I guess, the, the right one. So you'll have to get the right code for it. I'll just type here uh, how to connect Figma to, of course, like Python. And we'll just have to look for like the specific code that we'll have to enter. So first of all, like can I integrate this? Of course, Pipe Dream Integration Platform allows you to integrate Python and Figma remarkably fast with the API, as we said. So we can even see like adding Python code to Figma. This if we want to add like a code. So as example, you can read here on how to do it if you want to. This is just for the Figma uh, community. An example, you can go and read this article about how popular ways you can explain Python with Figma. Of course, if you click in here, you'll be able to read it. You'll be able to even to click on Get Started to see how to integrate it. And as you can see, you will be able to see how to do it. So you'll have to select this integration, configure the new comment uh, instant trigger, connect your Figma account, configure the team ID, configure the run Python code ac action, then connect your Python account, deploy the workflow, send a test event to validate your setup, and turn on the triggers. Here, of course, you will find more details. The trigger will be Figma, Figma overview, trigger code will be something like that, as you can see, and the trigger configuration, as you can see, the label is Figma, Figma, a type is app, and description, this component uses the Figma app. Of course, you can have it as an app. You can download this example if you want to, or you can have it in the browser, whatever suits you. And for this one, no labels. As you can see, prop HTTP, uh, the type interface.http. And this component use the interface.http uh, to generate a unique URL. When the component is first instantiated, each request to the URL will trigger the one 
method for all of the components. And of course, this is the prop is DB service.db the components use service.db to maintain states between executions and team id as you can see label proper team id type is string and your team id is not currently possible to programmatically programmatically uh, obtain the team id of a user just from a token so to obtain the team id and you can have to navigate to the team page so go to this team page's example and the team id will be present in the url after the word team before and before your team name as example probably you'll find it like here you'll be able to click on copy link of the team and that's going to be the id of it trigger authentication as example figma uses o authentication like example o authentication when you connect your figma accounts pipe dream will open a pop-out window where you can sign into figma and write pipe dream permission to connect to your account pipe dream securely store and automatically refresh the o auth of course tokens so you can easily authenticate in figma api pipe dreams request the following authorization scoops when you connect your account so here and like the action so the trigger was figma the action was this is this so python overview the action code will be something like that label uh, python prop uh, python type app this component of course uses python app so action authentication about python more ways to connect figma and python as an example if you don't like this way there are other ways provided in this pipedream.com so we have popular actions and we have popular triggers like new comments and sent from the Figma API and maybe it will do something less. And popular actions delete the comments with Figma API, list the comments with Figma API, post comments with Figma API, run Python code with the Python API. So as you can see, you have a lot of things that you can check. That will show you even better than me because I'm not like familiar. I do this a lot. So you can check these articles, of course. Uh, in here and even see the video on how to do this example this demo to connect to the api is remarkably fast they will show you just how to do it six minutes to seven it's very easy to watch and yeah so that's gonna be basically it so there you have it of course you now or understand or learned how to connect figma to python in 2024 of course this will open an endless possibilities for automating designs related tasks and enhancing collaborations between designers and developers so if you have any questions or the specific topic that you would like me to cover just drop it down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one and happy coding and i'll see you in the next video